forward? Or is it uh, the hand that you raised earlier uh, on? And no, no, I, I think you've just covered me now. I was going to ask because I didn't capture all of Honorable Majosi's uh, 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 candidate numbers, but if you say that the administration will, will then put up the, the, the collation of everything that's been put so far, I will get it from there to then engage further. Okay. Who's doing that for us? Uh, Mr. Malaga? We will then put up the, the, the collation. I'm, I'm almost done, just two seconds. I'm almost done. I think, uh, Chair, whilst uh, we are waiting for Mr. Malega, uh, it, would, it would be safe to say that uh, names presented uh, by uh, the ANC and the IFP uh, 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 are the, uh, uh, the all five names are common, uh, except uh, uh, that uh, the one name that, is, uh, not, that has been raised by the EFF uh, the name of uh, Ms. Uh, Sina Milimasa. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll just share that whilst you are waiting for Mr. Maleta to put it up uh, on the screen. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you for that. Um, but as I said, we would want to just see them on the screen, including the name that has been uh, presented by the EFF. Mr. Ngoma, I've sent you the file. It's not a chair. I will, uh, we, like we usually do, we, we now have the names. Um, I will take it that um, what Honorable Pambo would have done is to add a name that he, he believes should be forwarded and would have not necessarily had particular problems with the other names. Now we can then get to um, to get responses, uh, starting with Honorable Mbele, because then it helps us to deal with the part of the DA. Um, then we can we can find I think uh, some common ground uh, quicker than one thought, uh, given the names that have been forwarded thus far. Well. Honorable Mbele, uh, so we'll just follow the order we, we, we made inputs on. Yes, uh, thank you uh, very much, Chairperson. Um, I think we'll be able to make fairly quick work uh, uh, from my perspective, because um, I am comfortable with most of the um, of, of what has been, sorry, I'm, I'm just making doubly sure here. Uh, okay, yes. Sorry, let me just come back to here. It was 58, uh, 31. Sorry, Chia, I'm just scrolling up here. Okay, so, um, and, 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 and because this is a, 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 a sort of active engagement process, uh, at, I, I will say that I'm, I'm open to, to uh, persuasion and, um, and, being brought into perspective that I might not have considered, um, because it was it was fairly difficult to have a, a sort of clear and and concrete conviction about 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 most of the candidates simply based on their um, on on their CVs, but the one that I must highlight as being um, uh, an uncomfortable one for me, or at least let me say, uh, cause for further for further inquiry, given what I said at the start, is uh, candidate 25, um, Ms. Ms. Maharaj, um, 
in that uh, looking uh, at at what's presented in her CV, um, I do see a heavy uh, uh, state sector, public sector background, um, and 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 so that's that's something for me, as I said, is something I would prefer to to veer away from. Um, uh, as as somebody who has worked in in provincial government myself for two and a half years in a previous life. Um, I'm, I'm very aware of how uh, uh, it, 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 uh, there's a particular mindset when one is entrenched and has worked in the public sector for a long time, which mitigates against the kind of, um, as I said, independent mindedness, uh, uh, vigorous scrutiny and challenge to status quo that we would expect uh, the, the SABC board members to play. We want somebody who will not take things at, at face value, not accept the conventions and um, um, sort of norms of, 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 of how things work in state-owned enterprises, somebody who will, who will push management to do better, not cut corners, not simply sort of sink to the lowest common denominator. Um, so that's that chairperson is 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 my premise. Um, I don't know anything, obviously, about uh, this particular candidate's substantive merits or sort of uh, skill sets and knowledge uh, and experience they bring to bear. Um, it's just that based on that one filter of mine uh, that I do have operating at this stage of the process, um, Ms. Maharaj would be one that I'm not inclined to, to agree with um, in the common list between Honorable Majosi and, and, and Ubega. Um, and uh, see, Honorable Pambo brought forward candidate 26. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, no, actually, candidate twenty six is 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 okay for me. Um, so, in fact, I think I could live with with the substitution of 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 Ms. Maharaj with Ms. Masango. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I I I don't have any major reservations uh, with with the lists um, apart from that point. Thank you, Chair. Thank you,
I'm covered, Chair. Thank you. Honorable members, with that having been said, um, I think we, sh we should persuade each other uh, that we can be able actually to have uh, the subcommittee reports uh, adopted uh, in an hour between nine and 10, given that uh, the round table uh, discussion on social media uh, would have been rescheduled uh, to allow other things to happen. Uh, can I can I get an indication because then that helps us even in the next uh, subcommittee meetings that that are coming uh, this evening. Honourable Bella. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Chair. Um, uh, I only have a, a, a small uh, scheduling difficulty with tomorrow morning in that because of the indication received from um, from the, the committee supports that the scheduled meeting for tomorrow morning had been uh, cancelled, um, I do have uh, another virtual um, meeting commitments uh, from nine until 10 tomorrow. So I'm not sure if a 10 o'clock start might be possible. Um, uh, I know it's gonna be fairly short, I assume. It's just the adoption of reports. Yeah. So I wonder if just a, a one hour uh, delay to, to a 10 a.m. start is possible tomorrow as opposed to nine. I think we can be flexible, but Honorable Kobega, I saw your mic open. Thought you wanted to speak. No, Chair, I think we, we, we need just to balance and accommodate because indeed as uh, Honorable Mbele is raising his, his issue, I don't think there is a problem on our side, Chair, if you can uh, reschedule a little bit uh, 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 <coughs> later instead of that nine to 10. In, it will be much more best if all of us as these other uh, political parties can be present in that meeting on the adoption. So we can just support that to say, if we can start at 10, it's still fine chair because now the house will start in the afternoon. Thank you chair. Honorable members, I don't want us to drag it much. Uh, if we can agree that at least the subcommittee has now agreed on a report that must be presented um, in terms of how we deal we dealt with the shortlisting uh, and then get the approval of the committee. 10 o'clock, uh, it seems not a problem. Uh, by 11, we at most we, we would be done uh, because the core of the committee is here, which is the, the seven members are here uh, out of uh, the remaining number. Uh, so if we can agree, uh, that that would help. Uh, I take it as agreed so that I, I can close the, this meeting officially uh, so that we move over to the next subcommittee. I, I, I still see your hand, Honorable Mbele. Sorry, it's your old hand. Oh, it's an old hand, okay. Um, Okay, uh, Honorable Machos is experiencing network problems, but I take it that she won't have a problem uh, with the approach because the report must still be endorsed by the committee. Having agreed on that, Honorable Members, uh, I must thank you for making the work easier uh, for the committee uh, and that we can be able to fulfill our function uh, as the subcommittee, which is that of fast tracking the appointment process for the filling of this vacancy. With that, thank you. Uh, this meeting uh, is officially adjourned until we meet uh, uh, in the other subcommittees, those who are serving in the other subcommittee. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. So, Temingosi, we don't lock out, right? Uh, Chairperson, no. We the ones who are in the other subcommittee. We don't lock out Trepesin as such. Uh, uh, Mr. Gumbo was uh, here earlier, but realized that the subcommittee on SABC was still meeting. 
So he is busy joining now. Uh, and Ms. Madrosi uh, is experiencing those uh, network uh, uh, problems. So with uh, Mr. Gumbus just joined, so it would only be Ms. Madrosi who is uh, not here because of, as I've indicated, the technical problem. So, Honorable uh, Elisiba Mlala uh, is not on the platform, right? Uh, no, just Mr. Gumbu. Uh, Mr. Mulala will uh, be training again uh, with the CASA subcommittee. Okay, thank you. No. I take it that uh, even on this one, we, we do correct. We, we started late at uh, half past six, as agreed uh, to give space to members. But I, I think given that we have uh, the necessary quorum, we shouldn't even waste uh, any time uh, that will open officially. Um, honorable members, this is uh, the subcommittee uh, created by the main committee of communications in the National Assembly uh, in terms of the NA rules. Uh, this committee focuses on the appointment process uh, to fill in vacancies uh, that have occurred in the MDDA board. And therefore you are all welcomed in this uh, subcommittee. This includes those that are in the platform as our guests and fellow South Africans who are following us uh, in, the, in the different platforms where we are uh, streaming. Uh, in that way, without waste of time, I'll just deal with the formalities. Once again, honorable members, as we said, uh, the rules on virtual meetings apply in this subcommittee uh, meeting. At all times, you'll keep your mic uh, muted if you're not speaking and your video camera switched off. When you want to speak, you will indicate uh, in the platform using uh, the participants uh, facility to raise your hand. Uh, if you are unable to raise your hand, uh, you can indicate on the chat uh, side or at least give an indication uh, that you would want to speak and you are unable to use any of those. And the chair will then recognize you. When you are recognized, uh, that is then that you'll unmute your mic and switch your video camera on uh, so that you as at home would be able to uh, view who is uh, speaking. In a situation where members would be experiencing network challenges, you would be able to make a request to the chairperson that you would be allowed to proceed without your video camera on to maximize your bandwidth. In a case situation where you are disconnected um, and you come back to the platform, just ensure that at all times, when you rejoin the meeting that you you Mike is muted as it can disrupt a speaker that may be on the table at the time. If we do that, that would uh, help us uh, a great deal, uh, honorable members. Uh, I then, without waste of time, would want to take if there's any apology, um, uh, maybe for record, uh, you can deal with that, Mr. Ngoma. I also see on the chat that uh, Honorable Faku is also now experiencing network uh, challenges, uh, but she's still it, on the platform. Yes, yes, Chairperson, she is still on the platform, but she is experiencing network challenges. So is Ms. Matrosi, as you had noted that she couldn't finish the meeting with the previous subcommittee, and uh, she had indicated that she's experiencing terrible uh, network problems. Uh, so I've just checked with her now, now. She's still experiencing those challenges and is trying to connect. Thank you very much. 
All right, thank you. We would uh, indeed uh, be sensitive to that point and, and allow them from time to time to get back to, to the meeting and the administration should ensure that they are assisted to, uh, to reconnect uh, back to the meeting. As I said, honorable members, without a waste of time, uh, indeed we are meeting today because we have adopted a program having been briefed of the processes uh, on the 24th of August, uh, 2021. And that today we then meet in line with the program to look at the shortlisting uh, for the interviews uh, that we would hold uh, to interview candidates. So in line with uh, the committee agreement, would have agreed that uh, we would shortlist five candidates per vacancy. And this uh, means that uh, for purposes of the MTTA, we have two vacancies to fill, and that would mean we are looking at 10 names. Uh, of course, other, all other principles would apply, that of ensuring that uh, we do look at young people, uh, we look at uh, the gender question, uh, as far as possible, we look at the non-racial uh, aspect of uh, the demographics. Um, so, so over and above the skills uh, that would have already been looked at by uh, the administration in enlisting people who applied and qualified uh, to be considered for shortlisting. Uh, so I'm not uh, gonna take more time. Uh, that's where we are would then again look at the approach that we would have looked at before in the process of uh, uh, shortlisting, which is that of uh, allowing parties to present uh, their 10 names uh, or names that they have, even if they're not 10. Uh, and that uh, once we do that, we would look at those that are common across all parties um, as well as look at uh, what could be below that point, majority, even if it's not all agreeing, as well as try to look at what we can agree between parties in a way that reaches a consensus than using a majority uh, approach like voting uh, on a matter of uh, shortlisting. Uh, of course, understanding that uh, we will be able to have more time to engage and persuade each other after listening to the candidates in the in the interviews. So, so that's the approach we would still be taking honorable members uh, in a way that helps to uh, shorten the process, but contribute qualitatively. Uh, that's that. Uh, maybe before we, we get to that point, I would want uh, to check if uh, all members would have received uh, once again uh, the information that they needed to uh, apply their minds in making the recommendations here, or if there are challenges, if we can be made aware of that. So that once we start with the process, we do not in the middle of it, uh, only learn at that point that there may be challenges. May I just check on that, uh, honorable uh, members? Are we, are we all fine? We are fine, Chair. All right, thank you, Honorable Kubega. So in that score, we'll then proceed and I'll just check those members who would then want to contribute on the part of the names. Uh, and then in that score, we would look more of the party whips to, to do that uh, in the committee. If I don't see your name uh, or you're unable to raise the hand, you can indicate. I see Honorable Mbele, I, your I, mic is unmuted. Sorry, Chair, it was just to, to speak. 
Yes, no, sorry. It, it, it was just to eliminate myself in case you were still waiting. Again, I don't have a definitive list to contribute. I would like to engage with other members once they've made their inputs uh, and that content. Okay, thank you, Honorable Mbele. Any other member would want to then come in now? Honorable Chair. Rebecca. Yes, Chair, Chair, I would like to submit on my site, on the site of African National Congress, the names that I think uh, they can do better. But as we, were, we are saying, finally, it will be the interviews that will predict on that site. But I'm having names that I can throw over to the list that we wanted to make it, Chair. Donorable Must I continue? Yes, proceed. Okay, thank you, Chair. You. Chair, can I call okay the names and also maybe and the number, which is the number one, which is uh, Lionel Adendorf. Chair. Okay. Oh, it seems to be um raising a point before you proceed. Honorable Pambo, what is the point? Okay. Sorry, Chair, no, there was something that was happening on my system, so I thought maybe I was, uh, but I see now it's back to, to order, so uh, that's fine. I'm sorry to disturb you. Okay, no, thank you. Honorable Pambo, you can proceed. Thank you, Chair. I'm having a uh, Lionel Adendorf, I'm having uh, Utela Martina Tona. Uh, can the administration maybe also assist me on the issue of the numbers where I couldn't make it to, 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 to name? I've got Ubukulu Zubo. Koti Blaise, which is number 11. Ma Shangwa Naposa, which is 19. Ray, Raymond Fisher. O'Reilly Fisher. I've got Usieko Lewis. I've got Usia Sanga Kiali. Tibeno Carol Mushala. Unalin Maharaj. I think they are 10, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the names that I'm throwing on the table, Chair. Thanks. Yes, Chairperson, there are 10 names, Honorable uh, Kupak. Thank you. Yes, may I then check Honorable Pambo? You wanted to speak? Honorable Pambo? I see that you are, you are muted. Honorable Pambo? Maybe it's covered, Chair. Uh, I wanted uh, him to say it's covered on our profile. Uh, so that we record that. Yeah, we saw the tapes. Uh, but if you wanted to put something else, it does. So um, now we, are, we, are, we can't hear him. He's muted. Um, Maybe Cape Coast must just call him, Mr. Ngoma, must yeah. just give him a call. Yeah. Okay, he's back now, Honorable Pambo. Yeah, I don't know. There's something with the system. I see Popeyes here on the screen every now and then. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the system also doing what it did with the candidate registration or what, but uh, I think there's a problem. <laughs> and and <laughs> Rob, you're yeah. only on your side. Where do you oh, Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> because I see Popeyes, yes. Uh, chair, they, uh, 
is I, I think like the the previous uh, a, a, a colleague had spoken or rather had said i think we'll watch this one and hear what uh, other members have to say there isn't uh, any name that jumps up uh, at least uh, to our interest thanks chair you, you see do? chair this is a generational thing <laughs> Uh, no, but you see, if, 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 if your generation brings Popeyes in the system, then there's a problem. With no other of obligation, I think the population will come from. Can you just check Honorable Majosi if she's still a experiencing problems or if she, she had any any point to make Chair, you are mute. Yes, honorable members, I'm saying in the portfolio committee group where all of us are there as members, including the support staff, honorable Majosi has uh, also put uh, names there. Um, if, you are, if you allow me, I, I can just read the names quickly and you'll be able to allocate the numbers because she has not stated numbers, as you can see there. Uh, number one is Bukulu Zugo, Rylan Fisher, Kiali Sianga, Dr. Mbava Nombergo, Maharaj Nalin, Masumene Lisiba, Mutala Carol, Eladonga Martina, Adendorf Lionel, Kutsi Blaze, Mashangane Posa, Sierko Lewis. So those are the names that uh, Honorable Majosi has uh, put forward. So the administration can just put them up. I see Honorable Mbele's hand is up. Honorable Mbele. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Chairperson. Um, uh, because I'm 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 picking up a trend of uh, some some divergences in 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 the inputs, um, uh, and because I I'd wanted to avoid a um, uh, 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 a, 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 a dynamic at this stage whereby. Uh, there's sort of too much uh, sort of clashing and 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 disagreements, um, rather than uh, express any objections or reservations about names put forward so far. Uh, may I get a second bite at the cherry to to at least put on the table? Um, where my leanings are, and then that'll form parts of the of the of the spreadsheets for discussion um, going forward. Yeah, maybe you'll just have to explain, Honorable Mbele, what you really mean by the second bite on the basis that the shortlisting is being done today oh, and once it's. Once it's adopted by the committee tomorrow, then we'd also have to put it up for, for the public. I just wanted yeah. to check whether you're talking to short listing or something that you'd raise as you get to interview. No, no, I'm, 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 
I'm saying that at this stage, given that there's there's more of a of a diversity of the lists being put forward, um, I would like to put uh, candidates um, in in the mix uh, for as that the committee support is 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 preparing right now. You you can, you can proceed, Honourable Mbele, if you have candidates that you want to put forward. Okay. Um, um, if it's Okay, I'll, I'll just say the candidate number and then the surname. So if I may start with, um, I don't have a full list of 10, uh, but it's just the, the standout ones that I didn't see being reflected. If I may start with uh, candidate six, Ms. Uh, De La Tonia. Uh, uh, candidate 11, um, Ms. Uh, uh, Quetier, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, Candidate 14, uh, Ms. Lifotane. Uh, candidate 23, Dr. Mbava. Uh, and then number 28, Ms. Mushala. Uh, 29, Ms. Mukubung. Uh, 37, Ms. Ngoala. And then uh, 56, Ms. Vundla. Okay, um, the committee support would then put those uh, together and uh, flight it uh, for the members to, to see uh, the names as proposed. Chairperson, can I just be given a second to fill in the names, please? can say that Honorable Mbele's names, as you were calling them, uh, some of them are included in the names uh, already put up. Um, so it's not necessarily an addition, except for the few that uh, you, you would have added. Um, I just thought I should make that confirmation uh, that there may be those that are common. Uh, but of interest, I also see that a number of those that would have uh, been shortlisted and came before the committee would still have taken interest. And I can see that those names have been called uh, uh, by all three of you who have presented names. So just await. Uh, the administration to flight it up and then take a discussion. Uh, Chairperson, I'm missing two names from uh, the ones you read from oh, Honorable Majosi. I, I, I noticed I'm, I'm, I, don't, I didn't get those two, sorry. Okay, Mr. Maleka, if you can, if, if you can just fix it as I, read, as I read them to you, the names raised by Mr. Uh, sorry, by Ms. Matosi. It's Mr. Luzuko Buku, which you have there. And then it's Mr. Raylan Fisher, which you have there. And it's Professor Charlie, which you have there. And then it's Dr. Nombe Gombava. If you can put Dr. Nombe Gombava. And then it's Ms. Nalin Maharaj. If you can add her name as well. Thank you. 
you, you have you have Puku uh, twice. That's why you have uh, that problem. Yes. Okay, and uh, Mutlala, you have, uh, Martina de la Tona, you have, uh, Mr. Seko Louis, you have, Mr. Posa Mashangwani. And the last one is uh, Mr. Masimane Lisiba. Mr. Masimane Lisiba. So that would be the 12 names that were raised by the IFP. Thank you. Okay, honorable members, those are, are the names. Uh, then uh, they would then put the uh, common names uh, between parties.
Pavas 3. Masala is 3. And that's three. Chair, that's it from my side, unless if I'm missing something. I would want to just check if the, the parties would have uh, really call the names as as they appear on their on their list uh, honorable majosi because she has submitted those in writing uh, it's easier uh, to do that uh, i'll just check first with honorable mbele whether those are the names that you called and then I'm just double checking very quickly, Chair. I'll just take a quick 30 seconds, please. Uh, yes, Chair, um, all, all correct from my side, thank you. Uh, Chair, you are on mute if you're speaking right now. At least mine has no popeyes. Eh? It's just a muting of the mic. I'm waiting for Honorable Kubeka. Honorable Kubeka. Honorable Kubega. Am I audible, members? Yes, you are, Chair. Watch it. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm checking Honorable Kubega for her to confirm if all the names that she put are the ones on, on the laptop speaker. So. Honorable sure, Kubega. Oh, I wanted to check say, if maybe she's experiencing any form of uh, network challenges. Uh, I'm trying to check, is she still in the platform? Chair, can you note me? Uh, Honorable Faku. Chair. The other names that um, uh, we called was the name of Lisiba and Nombeko. I don't know if they are captured there. Uh, they are not. They are not. I see, that, added, I see that Honorable Kubeka is uh, 
back? Yes, Chair, I'm back. Sorry, it's network. Okay. Yeah, Honorable Fak was indicating that uh, from the names you called, uh, yes, what is not captured is uh, the name of Dr. Numbeko. And, uh, Baba and, and, and this Iba. Yeah. Are they not captured? No. Okay, they need to be added, Chair. Mbava, Nombeko, and Masimane Siba. Okay, with those confirmed. Uh... The trees would mean that uh, those are agreed by all parties. So those would then form the first uh, top candidates in the 10 that we are considering. Um, how many are those? We have eight two. So we've got about four, isn't it? Yes, Chair. We have four that are three, that are two and three, please. Okay. So can we agree that those uh, at least form uh, the first set of candidates we have? Um, Okay. Okay. So those would be uh, the common names, and from a gender point of view, they are all uh, women, right? Yes, chair. Y yes, chair. Okay. then we may just have to engage each other um, on, the, on, the, on the remaining uh, names, uh, as I said, in a way that doesn't get us to work on the basis of fault, but agree to persuade each other. Uh, the difficulty is that uh, Honorable Machos is not in the platform to be persuaded. So I'll be trying to persuade the Honorable Kobeka and Honorable Mbele who did the presentations. Um, that the next would have been an agreement between two uh, parties. Uh, and then it means that those would be in the main, the IFP and the ANC lists. Uh, any names between the DA and the IFP that are common other than those that were common with all three parties? No, there would be no, right? Yeah. Yes, Honorable Fabio. I don't know. I see the other common name between the ANC and the IFP is the name of book. So I don't know why is it not captured there at the bottom. No, Honorable Fak, we started with three uh, names. Uku is, is, is captured there, is, is right on top in the common names as two which reflects the ANC and the IFP. Okay, Chair. 
Yes. So all I'm all I'm checking here is is that uh, if 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 you look at between the TA and the NC, what is common is what is uh, between the three of them, which is the four. We where we all agree that those four would have to go in. Um, then you have those that the IFP and the NC agree on, uh, which is uh, with tools. And the other names from the DA are not uh, appearing in any of the lists. Uh, I'm trying to, to really check uh, how far we can go in trying to, to get the names uh, uh, out. Uh, to be a number that's uh, that's reasonable. The other way to look at it would be to keep the 12 that is agreed upon of which four is common across all parties. Uh, and by the way, we're filling two vacancies. And that maybe in the absence of Honorable Machosi, uh, because then it's difficult to know where, where the priorities would be uh, if we were to cut. That maybe we, we do what we did and maybe keep the 12 and, and allow an interview process uh, to complete. It will still be consistent with previous subcommittee discussions uh, in terms of ensuring that there's inclusivity because others that may be left out may be representing the non-racial side or, or people with disabilities uh, and all that. Uh, of course, uh, the skills, uh, which are already an issue administration dealt with. Uh, I want to put that before you. Um, to persuade Honorable Mbele uh, and Honorable uh, Kubega and other members uh, that maybe because on the 12th, at least there are four that are common in all parties and that the remaining eight, which are stick to all of them who are two uh, and then uh, leave the other names uh, which may not be having support from, from all parties. I want you to comment on that, honorable members. I, I know the, the EFF has already made the comment earlier. Uh, they, will, they, will, they will rather assess uh, in the interviews at this point, there's no name that was popular. Honorable Mbele and honorable Kubeka on, on the proposal. Uh, thank you, Chair. May I go ahead? Proceed, Honorable Mbele. Okay, thank you, Chair. Um, uh, I suppose just two points from my side uh, is is uh, I I will flag that a significant number of the candidates who um, were in common between Honorable Majosi and Honorable Kubeka are ones that I have reservations for 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 one or other reason um but of course i I, I don't want to place too much waiting on on my sort of cursory assessments um at at this stage as we all agree the interviews are the substantive process um but the second point that that i would like to place um emphasis on and if if this one submission can be accepted um then i'm 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 happy for whatever happens with the with filling the remainder of the spots is that um, I, I really would like to motivate strongly for the inclusion of um, candidates at uh, uh, 29, Ms. Uh, Mukubung, um, simply because in looking at, um, uh, you know, 
the, the, the surface level qualifications and, and work experience in her CV um, around uh, marketing, marketing communication and digital marketing. Um, as well as work experience um, in 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 Harambi, um, I have uh, some very uh, uh, basic experience and interaction with with that organization, and they are hugely successful in the deployments of um, resources, marketing, um, and 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 communication specifically for the purposes of fundraising and resource mobilization in the civic society uh, uh, arena. And members will recall that uh, there's, there's been a strong point made um, in our engagements with MDDA that they need to, to innovate and, and to make major progress in becoming more self-sustaining and in developing uh, 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 income and, and and revenue streams uh, for themselves. So, uh, just based on uh, those those few things that I can see from the CV, um, I, I I really would like to um, insist that we make space to give a hearing uh, to candidates uh, twenty nine, um, because I think there's potentially a lot of value add uh, to be had. Uh, uh, by by having her as a prospective candidate for the board, relating to that imperative for the MDDA to innovate and develop um, income streams to be more self sustaining uh, for their mandates. So if 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 the other members would be amenable to candidate twenty nine, I know she doesn't have uh, bipartisan or or more supports. But if candidate twenty nine is on the is on the short list, I'm happy uh, for whatever happens with filling the the remaining to get to uh, ten or eleven or twelve. Thanks, Chair. Honourable Kubega, before I open uh, to other members. Uh, thank you, Chair. I think uh, I would like to be persuaded because indeed, as we are saying, if you check on the side of a ANC and the IFP, uh, we, we, we are supporting that number as we are agreeing to say we, we can take that uh, number as it is because indeed it, all these names are on this side and that other side. But let me also say let me try to be persuaded with that uh, uh, name of Me Mkubung a chair, because remember we said for the sight of these entities, uh, us as the whole committee as it is, we wanted to build these uh, boards into greater heights. And at the end of the day, we wanted to at least assist those boards in order that where they need those skills that are relevant, for those boards in order to operate. It needs to be like that. So it is not say it's final, as we are saying, if we are shortlisting, uh, the battlefield will be there in the interviews in order to hear uh, our full story in these uh, nominees of the candidates that are here at this present moment. So I would never be much difficult. Let me accept it to be persuaded uh, also on that name of Mukubung, but as we agreed to say, because all these names, especially on the ANC and IFP, they are on both sides. Let's support to say, let's go to that number uh, uh, exceeding that we, number that we have agreed in the in the in the subcommittee chair. Thanks. Honorable Fagu, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, I support the proposal, Chair, that we take the name from the ANC and IFP and include that number 29, which will give us 11 names. So um, I think that I support that move. Thank you very much. Is that Honorable Kumbu? Chair, I have some difficulties here, man. I cannot 
Now I'm in and out of this meeting, so I'm, I'm able to follow uh, the discussions here. Uh, honorable members, um, I'm sure Honorable Kumbo would have indicated his challenges there. Now, I just want to clarify that the, the names presented by the NC and the IFP are 12. If you add this one, that would be 13. So it's not 11. So it will be 13. Uh, look, I think the challenge would have uh, Honorable Members is on who to cut because a number of, uh, as I said, a number of uh, the candidates that you looked at would have qualified before and got shortlisted. Uh, the question is whether you want to hear them. But the others are because they are also returning board members whose term would have expired and therefore would have qualified up to the last stage um, before. So, so I think uh, it, it does no harm, uh, honorable members, because as I said, uh, we're unable to persuade the, the IFP in, in absentia. Uh, it does no harm to, to agree with the names which includes this name because the motivation, um, it's, it's, it's persuasive enough. And that's why there's, there's agreement from members to include this candidate 29. And that will leave the names as, as such and do the sifting in the interviews. Uh, rather than try to, uh, do the demotivation uh, in order to eliminate the numbers to get to, to 10 so, uh, or 12. So, so, so rather let's say, let's agree that we, we work on these names and that the preparation for interviews be on these names and, and hear them out. And, and then we'll take a discussion at that point. Uh, understanding, of course, we are filling two vacancies and that uh, there were at least names that were common uh, from parties. Uh, so the difference is just uh, small, uh, but the motivation is, uh, is quite persuasive. Will that uh, help to conclude this discussion, honorable members, uh, that it's, it's now 13? And, and we can be able to uh, put them through uh, the interviewing process. Uh, Honorable Mbele, are you objecting? Uh, no, Chair, it's just to, to respond, uh, which is to say that uh, that's, uh, that is agreeable from my side, as well as to uh, thank the colleagues for, for their um, uh, for their agreements and and willingness to um, to to be inclusive of my motivation uh, going forward. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Honorable Mbele. I take it that Honorable Members will agree um, that these would be the names that would form part of the report that we are sending for the committee uh, to adopt uh, as it relates to the MDDA. If that's agreed, can we then uh, get some closure? And, and I, I take it that uh, this would be for the committee's approval. There's already a suggestion. I'm just doing this for formality because there, there is a member who may have not been in the previous subcommittee. Uh, there's been a proposal to have a committee meeting tomorrow at 10. Uh, which we believe would not last for an hour to approve reports of the subcommittees so that uh, then the administration is able to put uh, those names out for public participation as well as prepare them uh, in terms of uh, uh, the interviews that would be scheduled. Uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow, 
uh, for that for that committee. Uh, Honorable Kumbu, you are probably the only one who was not in that uh, in that subcommittee. Uh, so there would have been a sense of agreement that we we get to have that meeting and notice then have to be issued in that regard. Uh, that we are amending uh, the agenda for tomorrow, which was to look at uh, social media platforms that has been rescheduled, that we can then focus for an hour just to get the reports adopted. Uh, I hope Honorable Kumbu with your challenges at Laboria, you are still able to, to hear this part <laughs> so that you are guaranteed of your attendance tomorrow. <laughs> I'm able to follow now. <laughs> okay, no, that's 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 better. Uh, thanks, honourable members. Uh, then this uh, takes us to the end of uh, the meeting, and this meeting uh, is now officially adjourned until we meet uh, again. Thanks. Those that are in the Thank other, you, sub those that are in the other subcommittee, uh, will keep uh, logging in uh, until we are joined by the other members who are in the other committee. And then we'll start immediately because we do have numbers to proceed. Thank you. So this one is officially agent for the MTDA.